Made a Difference is a community-wide initiative where we're really trying to work on creating a ready, willing, and, and capable workforce. And we know that in order to do that, we need to start at a young age and empower students and our youth with skills and knowledge to be successful in the 21st century. We're here at CR. This is a wonderful collaboration under the Decade of Difference umbrella. We've been working with CR on many collaborative activities and this is a camp where the kids get to come and work in the CTE labs and learn trades and skills that are available to them right in their backyard and it's all about helping them start planning for life after high school. Well we're giving students a small taste of different career paths so that they can get started down a, a path when they're in elementary school and high school because today you need some post high school training in order to be successful in today's world. And we, you know, we figure that uh, the earlier we can expose them to different careers, uh, they'll make more educated decisions about which path they'll go down, uh, be more motivated to do better in school, and to seek that post high school training that they need to stay in this area and be successful um, employees. Baggett and we're at the um, 2012 first annual middle school career camp um, event and we're in the engineering sector here at CR in the uh, drafting lab and what we're trying to teach the kids today is the whole idea of industrial prototyping and have them um, learn um, 3D modeling by, by making a little race car, CO2 powered race car which they design on the computer as if they were an engineer. And then we print it out on our rapid prototyper machines here and they get to take it home. We actually have a racetrack, 88 foot uh, racetrack set up outside where we're gonna race these vehicles and um, see who wins. So it's a lot of fun. So I'm teaching an introduction to game development course that is a sort of a shortened version of what I teach for College of the Redwoods and at the high school level. Um, the course is designed to introduce students to the field of game development and so it's focused on fundamentals and transferable skills. So we focus on things like animation concepts, programming concepts, design concepts and so in the, through the course of the class they make a video game, a simple video game, and learn some of these basic skills. It's like a maze. Like it's part. I've been using this. When you put it together, it becomes a little maze for a little wall, and you try to get it through the maze. Well, today we're here in the CR machine shop, and the kids are making a little um, game. It's a roll the ball through a maze kind of puzzle that will um, let them have some experience doing some basic machining, some finish work, and uh, assemble a finished product. Well, I hope that the students see that manufacturing is kind of exciting and fun, and it's more than just a dirty machine shop type of heavy lifting work. It's more fun and, and uh, complicated programming and um, interesting type of work to do. It's important to visit local businesses and have business leader mentors because it helps make the connection between what the kids are having a blast doing at the camp and local businesses where they can apply those skills and be able to get a job and build a career. It's also an opportunity for kids to consider starting their own businesses doing what they love in Humboldt County. I hope that the students who are visiting all the entrepreneurs in Arcata and the surrounding communities will get a sense of how diverse the work opportunities are here, even for a small community.
type of part that we ship, and our customers take this and turn it into basically this. This is the same wood that I just showed you. We are in, in business here in Humboldt County that sources the bulbs from all over the world, actually takes the bulbs, turns it into a cut flower, and then ships those cut flowers all over the country. Thank you so much. The real learning continues after school once you go into you know, daily life in the business world by continuously learning, continuously reading. Read whatever you can. The bank has been very supportive of the whole Decade of Difference program. Uh, we're very pro-education. Uh, we want to see more and more kids grad not only graduate from high school but excel and go on to college. And uh, certainly we'd like to see entrepreneurship uh, rise in uh, our community and we'd like to have as many students be productive in their adult life. One is, you know, have a dream and move forward to it. Okay, so encouraging words. Ultimately, you will come out of school, you'll go into the, the real world, and things are gonna happen. Not everything will be perfect. We want everything to be perfect, but they will not be. And, and ultimately, look at challenging situations as an opportunity for growth. Be open to whatever classes you have. Sometimes the class may sound like it's not going to be very interesting. But what makes the class interesting is your how deep you get into the subject and um, how inspiring the teacher is, but also just what you're putting into it. And I know a lot of people have certain prejudices against, you know, maybe science, history, math, but the important thing is to try and put a lot into it and you'll get a lot back out and maybe find a career that um, is really going to be inspiring for you. There is wisdom in the counsel of many. And so seek advice, seek mentors, have a hero, somebody who is not a basketball player or a football player, but somebody who has achieved things and has significantly helped the community and is considered a community asset.